Hi guys, in this video I will show you how you can fix Adobe Crash Service Report error using a simple step. First I want to explain how I discovered it. If you don't want to listen to that, you can skip with timecode in the description to the solution and you can fix the problem yourself very easily. So I'm going to show you what happens when I try to start the software, for example Photoshop. You can see here that this error pops up. We don't want that because that's annoying. How I found the solution. I found firstly what caused it. Now this is the app that caused it. So I'm gonna locate it. This is in here. This one right here. So this is the, its configuration file. So well, I tried to open it up using text editor, which I use, that is not what plus plus, you can also download it. Uh, or you can use any text editor if you want. And I found out that there is these two links. And I'm assuming that uh, this software, piece of software that caused problem, sends the Adobe servers some kind of information that we are using older versions of Windows now, for example if you use Windows 7, 8 or even early versions of 10 this error could pop up so to fix that again we just have to block those two links so they can't access to all information and they can't send them anywhere you may think it's difficult but it's very easy go to my computer Look on this C, program files, or anywhere your software is installed, Adobe Photoshop. Then find this configuration file right here, with the same name, and edit with text editor, which will show you those two links right here. First of all, we just have to go to Windows folder then find system32 then go to drivers go to ATC then right click on hosts and open it with text editor in my case I will use Notepad++ then what you have to do is to copy this text like so then left some space in between copy the first link without HTTP and slash, but make sure a whole link is selected like this and paste it here. Next line, do the same thing, but there was one moment. Same thing, this, this text and then space, then second link and save the file. In my case, save file because this is protected file and it's telling me that I need to run this as administrator so I will do that and now I can save the file if you can't run your text editor in administrator mode you just have to save this file anywhere else like on the desktop but make sure you are using all types um, let me show you how you can do this in default notepad so open with I'm gonna go down and choose notepad uh, if I change anything I can save it it will ask me to save it anywhere else so I'm gonna remove this and try to save it again go to desktop then choose all files uh, put nothing at the end of this and press save now it's a text document so we don't want that if it doesn't show that it's .txt just go to my computer then view and check this file name which will show you what type your file is so here it is then rename this remove this and yes now you have same type of file in here and on the desktop all you need to do is now to replace the original file continue and that's it 
I'm gonna check one more time if it's edited as you can see it is and that should solve any problem we have with that bug or maybe it's not a bug it's a feature I guess so let's start the software as you can see no pop-up everything is fixed thank you guys for watching if this video helped like and subscribe and comment your thoughts on what you want me to do in the next tutorials down in the comment section see you in the next ones